All right, then. So now we're going to do the mission Night of the Wolves, which is actually a two part mission. It is the same mission with the sport silent killers here. Yeah, this is just the second part of it. It's a very lengthy mission. Very interesting, actually. We're going to do all the side objectives as well. Always on very hard. And uh, let's get into it. In May 1941, after subduing the whole of Western Europe, the German army concentrates all its efforts in the war on Britain, the last bastion against the expansion of the Third Reich. Having failed in their invasion of the island nation owing to the superior power of the British Navy, the Germans are now concentrating on a war of attrition. Britain, isolated from the continent, depends on supplies, especially weapons and fuel, which arrive from the other side of the Atlantic. These supplies are growing ever more scarce. The German submarine fleet, the Wolfpacks, hounds the Allied convoys, which suffer enormous losses. La Palisse, located on the French coast, near La Rochelle, is the most important German submarine base. Constructed like a bunker, it is an impregnable fortress. Its piers, built under tons of reinforced concrete, are invulnerable to air attacks. It is the perfect base from which to carry out the deadly patrols. It is the U-boat's lair. You copy me? Go ahead, soldier. I am facing the front now, sir. Change. Mm, they seem very agitated, more than expected, as if they were preparing for something. Hi. Hold on, sir. It looks like there's one of us in there already. I think he's gonna make it. General, sir. I hope this man wasn't my contact. No. Your contact is a woman. Her name is Natasha. She's waiting in one of the outer buildings. Soldier, try to find out who this other intruder is. Yes, sir. Any last-minute information about the target, sir? No. The Enigma machine should still be in the commanding general's safe. I'm sure there's no need to remind you of the importance of obtaining this machine, soldier. It's required to decode Nazi communications. No, sir. I am perfectly aware, sir. Over and out. All right, and now the game sets us loose. Let's go through the objectives. There's going to be quite a few of them in this stage. This is only the ones that we start with. So first of all, contact the wounded ally. He's in that building over there, so let's start with that. We only have one soldier. We have uh, Lupin here, the thief. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's quickly check who's watching our location. These two, I do not think they're gonna be much trouble. Let's see. Yeah, we can swim in the uh, dark green area, just not in the light green one. This guy might be a nuisance. Let's see. No, it's too far away also. It looks like we have a free ride towards our first okay. objective. Oh, hold on, let's not hit a mine. <laughs> yes. Let's also quickly do a hard save. Always a good idea at the start of missions. Just in case we mess things up and need to go back. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna keep crouched, obviously. Going. Now, actually, you know what? Hold on. Why not do the first, the other objective first? Like we have a contact. Where is it? Contact Natasha. She's inside that building right next to us. If we get her, she uh, can get slipped by Germans undetected because she has a uniform. So this would make all my other objectives a lot easier. Let's actually go with that. I suppose. Uh -huh. 
All right, now we're at a uh, kind of a disadvantage, though, because the soldier I currently have, Lupin, he can only hit guys, he cannot tie them up. So let's see. I have two soldiers. I'm going to have to hit this guy, probably. I never throw in the tower. All right, let's be quick now. Yes. I cannot run, though, because they will detect me. Now let's go quickly in here. Good idea. Close the door as well, so they can see us, and we have our first contact. Okay. Well, it's about time. This place is becoming quite dangerous. Yeah, thanks. I'm happy to see you too. What is the plan? The door to the general's office is locked, and his assistant is in the canteen at the moment. That's nice for him. And? He has the key we need and must be drinking by now. We'll put some sleeping pills in his wine. He'll then fall asleep and you steal the keys. How do we get some sleeping pills? I brought some with me. And what do we do with the general? I will phone him and convince him to leave the office. But I'm not sure how long I will manage to distract him. You'll have to be quick. Sounds good to me. All right, then. She laid our plan out perfectly, I think. What is this soldier that I hit? I think it's this guy. Yeah, he's kind of looking around now, searching who hit him. <laughs> All right, in any case, now we can uh, make use of Natasha. Let me remember oh, okay. what's the hotkey. Seven. All right, cool. Let's get Lupin out of the way so nobody sees him when I open the door. And obviously, having an agent Tell means we can distract the Germans. Only one of them each time, though, mind you. Before we go, though, hold on. Let's see if we get any useful equipment here. Ah, uh, dog food. I'll take one, but I don't think we're gonna need that anyway. Check the cupboards as well. Lots of things to actually check around here. Oh, more sleeping pills. Yes, that might be useful. Um, Let's actually also check with Lupin the other cupboard. More cigarettes, a bonus item, why not? And med kits, which I almost never use, because I usually reload if I get hit, but... All right. Now, Miss Natasha, Tell me. please distract this guy. All mine. Yes? Hold on, Natasha. Tell me. Gotta be more effective than that. Can I slip through? Yes, I can. All right, Tell now. Me. Now, let's wait for this guy to make a move, though, first. And I want to be caught in his vision. Going there. Uh huh. And just like a gentleman walking out. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now, let's crouch him. Yep. Now we can make contact with the uh, other party. The okay. other guy that we saw with Natasha, even. We do not need to endanger Lupin. All mine. Whom the Germans can spot. Let's do this with Natasha. Yes. Always a good idea to check before you go in. You can do that in Commandos too. Oh, we could actually Finish. enter from this door directly into the prisoner's cell. Interesting. Fine. I'm a member of the French Resistance. Oh, we must rescue them. <coughs> I was trying to escape. Oh. <coughs> Take this. Here is everything oh. in the encrypted message. <coughs> White whiskey. <coughs> He's a friend. <coughs> you will have to decipher it <coughs> with the machine. <coughs> The Enigma. I don't have much time. <laughs> Look after my dog. <coughs> it will be of great help. <coughs> ah. Mind the fences. They're electrified. <coughs> if you need to cut them, you will find a deactivate switch in the nearby <coughs> room. <coughs> Look after whiskey. Oh, goodbye, boy. <coughs> Wow, Jesus. 
That guy coughed a lot. <laughs> All right, now we get a dog, though. He's going to be very important, not only because he can distract enemies, that's actually his uh, lesser quality. He can, though, transfer items between, uh, between our commanders, because uh, as a dog, he goes unnoticed. Germans do not mind seeing him. He doesn't trigger any alarms whatsoever. Here we go. And we can uh, give him items like this. I could give him a whistle, for example, or something like that. And then another guy who also has a whistle, he could call him over and retrieve those items. Very useful. Right now, though, let's do this. Go out and let's see what's our next objective now. We have lots of secondary objectives. Disconnect the power to the electrified fence. I don't know if I need to do that. Use the slipping pills to knock over the assistant. Yeah, that is something that we very much need to do. And Natasha can call the general on the phone. All right, so that's the plan. I'm going to steal the key and then distract the general. Now, we have the slipping pills. No need to retrieve those so we can... Go ahead, hold on. Am I clicking on the wrong objective here? Interesting, it doesn't actually show me where the assistant is. I know where he is because I've played this game before, but this doesn't really show me what to do. Let's actually do this just for uh, just for the fun. Disconnect the electrical fence just so we get uh, a pure completion of the mission. I'm supposing this is the machine here that turns the, the fence off. So let's go once more in with Natasha. Going. All right, let's just take Natasha. I don't think anybody else is necessary. Can I operate this? Yes, I can. Now, mind you, when operating machinery, you better not be seen by the mechanics. They usually do take notice. So I'm going to save right before I do that. Finished. All right, so I suppose now the fence is not electrified. Yes, and we got the check mark here. Disconnect the power. Now, use the sleeping pills, it, for some reason, the game shows me this place, I'm guessing. There are some extra sleeping pills or something in here. Let's quickly check the cupboard. No. Finished. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the place yes. that where I know the mission takes place, even though the game kind of seems to be bugged right now. Doesn't matter. All right, now, this guy is a, uh, kind of a high-ranking officer. These black dudes, these uh, guys with the black uniform, I mean. I am going you have there. to be kind of careful not to uh, fall into the light green area. Otherwise, they will notice. Uh -huh. You can go in the dark green area as much as you want to. Now, let's see what are we working with. Lots of enemies, but nobody's uh, very high-ranking. These are simple there. soldiers, I think. So, yeah, we are probably just gonna yeah. stroll in unless we see an officer. He's a high ranking officer, but not high enough so that he can discover us, I think. Yeah, see, he looks at me, but still doesn't recognize me. The general is in here. We're not gonna I'm go. Going in right now because we obviously do not have the key as you can see that's what the blue key means it means you're missing the key turns yellow uh -huh. into yellow when you have the key now the party right. drinking party is here so let's see there should be a wine probably here nice. yes that's where they're drinking from let's spike that and you can see this was five, it became four, meaning we actually did spike it. And I think this was a red colored, the wine, and it turned into green, which also means it's kind of poisoned. So uh, let's just hang back, sit tight and watch the spectacle, I guess. I believe somebody is soon gonna get thirsty. Come on, anybody want some wine, guys? <laughs> And there you go, that guy seems a bit thirstier than the others. And go to sleep, everybody. 
Wow. <laughs> Synchronized sleeping. Excellent. Now we just need the keys, nothing else. I don't think there's anything else useful here. Oh, there are some cupboards. Fine. Could search these. Uh, let's maybe take a bottle and some food. I don't think we're gonna need too many bottles. These are used as distraction items, but not as useful as uh, cigarettes, for example. Yeah, in case our job is done here. Let's see if we got any check marks. Yes, use the sleeping pills. Now, now we have the uh, the key, and you can see it turns into yellow, meaning we can open the general's office. Yes. Let's quickly scout the situation. See. What we're working with. All right, so oh, we do have a cupboard here. Let's see if there's anything useful. Pack of cigarettes, yes. Why not? Binoculars, I've never used them. I know what they do. You can see enemies through windows and things like that, but not really useful for my playstyle. All right, so we have two high-ranking officers in here, which means we obviously gonna get the general out, the general out with a phone call. The other guy. Yeah, we'll see. We might have to just knock him out. Now we need to bring Lupin here, though. And we can place a phone call, I think, from this building. Let's quickly scout that out as well. That seems to be the case. There's a telephone here. I can use that anytime I want. Oh, also a cupboard. Yeah, more cigarettes, more food. I'm hoarding right now, but I'm probably not going to need it. Right now. The trickier part is to actually bring Lupin along. So let's see. Who am I going to need to distract? Oh, actually this guy is not paying too much attention. Lupin could slip by him in the in this light green area, dark green area. Sorry. Or he could just go around here. I don't think anybody can see him here either. Yes, nice. Maybe this guy. I don't think he's gonna be in the light green area. Oh, momentarily it is. Alright, so we gotta watch out for this guy. He might, might be able to spot us. This guy is the most annoying, definitely. So, let's engage in some friendly banter. And start bringing Lupin along. Let's get the dog out of the building as well. Otherwise, he might become trapped, I think, the dog. So don't leave him inside buildings. Follow me. Oh, now, just Lupin, please. Let's actually also do... Hold on. This guy can see me? Okay. He cannot. I was anxious because sometimes you quick save right before you make a key mistake, which is like the worst thing <laughs> that can happen. All right, now let's see where does this guy look. It's easy to pass. There, now that guy walks away, which was the most dangerous one to see us. And I think we can just stroll right down the middle here. That guy definitely doesn't see us. This uh -huh. guy is too far away. How about the dog? Oh, the dog actually sees me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I hide? Yeah, somebody will catch me. Wow, that is a mess. <laughs> All right, avoid the dog then. Already there. Should be the name of the game. Do the same thing, but this time we're gonna stay away from the dog. That guy is kind of blind, doesn't see very far away, so we should be able uh -huh. to still go through. Yeah, see how far, how, how few meters ahead he can see. Where's the dog? Oh, and the dog is moving, that's why he saw me. All right, so I gotta wait it out. I'm not gonna go through here because there's another guy up here watching. Oh, he's actually watching the other way. Good Interesting. Idea, I suppose. Oh, well, that's the case. <laughs> Thank you very much. Huh? And now, Miss Natasha. Okay. Let's 
your time again. Hold on. Uh, let's not let go of her just yet. I'm gonna bring Lupin a bit closer so that this guy can see him. Not too close though, because that guy might see him then. It's kind of a balancing act now. Okay. I now think we fire away enough. Yes. And I will distract this guy. Uh huh. La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. Nice. All right. Anyway. Oh, hold on. Is there another guy here? Yeah, but he's looking over the fence, so he's uh of no issue right now. Nice. Let's go straight into the office. Yes. All right, now let's stick Lupin to the wall. You can do that in Commandos too if you click uh, on a wall. The general will come out walking. Then we'll stroll in. Probably I'm gonna have to hit this guy to the head. And then we need to open this thing, which only Lupin can do because he's a resident thief. Ready, sir. All right, let's go place a phone call. All mine. It's definitely hard save before we do that. That is a good spot to save. All right, now. Fine. Ja. Herr Kommandant? Ja, ich komme gleich. Aha. Uh -huh. That's all he needed to hear, a female voice. <laughs> all right, so now see, I've remained hidden. It's quick save. I'm probably gonna have to yes. smack this guy real quick because he's gonna turn around. Unfortunately, I cannot tie him. Let's quickly do our misdeeds here. Time. All right, give me the Enigma machine and some sort of important message that can be decoded by that machine, I suppose. Now the problem being, hold on, this guy is gonna yes. wake up. Can I go out or is that too risky? Okay. Let's see, can I hide? Oh, this guy. Uh -huh. Let's go on the edge. Oh man, on the edge, the other guy can see me. <laughs> Ooh, kind of a risky move, but I think it worked out. Alright, now. If I go to this spot, nobody will be able to see me, I think. Alright, cool. Now. Oh, hold on. The general will come and see me, though. Alright, we need to leave. Like, quickly. I'm gonna hide in, like, this spot over here. Because the general will come back, remember? Oh, and that guy came out looking to see who hit him in the head. <laughs> Pretty natural reaction, actually. Alright, let's see. Now we got all the side objectives. So let's proceed with the main ones. Steal the machine. Decipher the message using the Enigma machine. I think we have to give this to Natasha so she can do that. So let's bring her over. Ready, sir. All mine. Fine. We must immediately inform headquarters about this. It is of the greatest importance. We must risk using a radio. All right, so I guess that is going to be our next objective then. And indeed use the radio, which is in here. Oh, interesting. This looks like a locked door. Let's see if the same keys can do the trick. Or if we need a new set of keys. <laughs> Alright, nice. So the same set of keys works. Let's use Natasha to get in. Doesn't look like we have too many soldiers to worry about. I, am going there. I think that only this guy is looking towards us. And there comes the general back, by the way. That's why I put Lupin out of the way. So that they do not bump into each other inadvertently. Hold on. 
Oh, there's a guy here, though. Hold on. Yeah, he still cannot see us, though, because we are... Good idea, I suppose. We're staying in the dark green area. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? Am I being crazy? Could no. I just use Natasha for the radio? I don't think we need to uh, gather all of the commandos in the same room to do the job. I think just Natasha being there is going to be enough. Let's see. Anybody else here? No, we're all alone. Nice. My thumb. General sir, do you copy me? Go ahead. The Nazis have captured an allied submarine and its crew and are bringing it here. Good lord. We must rescue them. We will send the rest of the commandos group to your position. They will arrive in the morning. They will need security papers. You'd better leave the base ASAP. Tonight's events will arouse the suspicion of the senior members of staff, and we can't allow them to discover you. And your comrade, the thief, must wait hidden inside the base. I don't like the idea of leaving him alone here, sir. That's an order. Good work, soldier. Over and out. Alright, so I'm guessing the last objective is gonna be hide the thief. Yes, the thief must hide under a bed. Excellent. So Natasha is gonna be departing in the second part of this mission. Before she goes, though, she sure can help the thief hide. If you say so. Let's distract this guy again. Fine. Alright, now let's get the thief. I shouldn't have done this in the first place, I guess. Going. So a bit of extra leg work just to end this mission. Uh -huh. All right, oh. let's bring Natasha again in to scout the place before we head in with a thief. Fine. Okay, there is a one soldier. Okay. He's a simple soldier, though. Oh, there's two actually, okay. Uh huh. Alright, so I'm guessing this guy we need to distract at all costs. This guy is just making his rounds, we can just time our movements according to him. So let's wait for this guy to come closer to me, get past the door. My thumb. La, 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 la. Yes. Alright, now I'm gonna keep crouched. Okay. Let's watch Natasa, let's see. When this guy goes back, he's gonna come here and look after he does that, then we're gonna head in. Oh, he does stand for a long time there. <laughs> Alright, let's go hide under the uh, nearest bed. No need to complicate things. Alright, I think we're done. First part of the mission.